Don't take a picture of me. Turn around and take a picture of that. Put your hands back up. Fuck yeah. So what are we going to talk about tonight? So much going on in my head. Most of it is not good. So why don't we why don't we go back back before Motley Crue started? Because I want to tell you guys a story. On the first night of the tour, I realized this that if any part of the story didn't happen exactly the way I'm going to tell you. If it was a different day, a different month, a different year. You guys would not have gotten in your cars and come here tonight. We would not be up here on stage together. None of these songs would have been written. And none of the chicks that I'm going to surround it off to about 100,000 got bent over. So, this is what happened. It was 1981. I was a struggling musician in Los Angeles, California. My last name was not Six. My last name was London. I was in a band called London. And I looked over one day at my band, and no disrespect to those guys, but I thought, you guys aren't going to cut it, you suck, and I quit my band. Probably the worst thing that you could do. I didn't, I didn't have a band, I didn't have a car, but I had an idea. And everything that will happen in our lives ever starts with just one fucking idea. I was walking home, and I thought, there has to be three other motherfuckers in Los Angeles that wants to reach into the heart of the music industry and rip it fucking out. That was my idea. But at the time in Los Angeles, California, it was all about new wave music. We had the Go-Go's and uh, the Knack and uh, fuck, there was even some other diseases out there. Flock of Seagulls. Cares for fears, it doesn't matter. Just what matters is I was walking home and I wanted to be in a band, a band like this. And for no fucking reason, I have no idea. On a Thursday night, I went to Hollywood, California, to the Starwood Club. I walked through the door and there was a drummer on that stage and he was beating the shit out of his fucking drums. I went backstage to talk to that drummer. He was sitting on the floor and he was wearing girl spandex fucking pants. So not only did he have fucking style, he could play like a motherfucker, and that is Tommy Lee. I have a feeling if Tommy stands up right now, he's wearing those same pants. Let's take a look. Look at that shit. Hasn't washed him in 30 years. So I sit down with Tommy, I'll never forget this day, I had a rum and coke, he had two beers, and we talked about something that was very important. We talked about how much we love heavy fucking metal. We talked about how much we fucking love punk rock. We talked about how much we loved the bands that came out of the 70s, like Elton John, Queen, David Bowie, Slade, T-Rex, and as a matter of fact, Alice fucking Cooper. So we decided to start a band. So Tommy quit his band, I quit my band. We were set up at this house in North Hollywood, California, not the nicest fucking area, and I was living off of this girl. 
and I can't remember her name, and it doesn't really matter. I just needed a place to make music, and so did Tommy. So we started playing together, and we started playing these songs, Too Fast for Love, Public Enemy Number One, Starry Eyes, Peace of Your Action, Fucking live wire. But you know you can only go so far with bass and drums and a fucking idea. So we went to get some beers at a 7-Eleven and we picked up a magazine called The Recycler Magazine and there it fucking was. An ad under guitar players that said, loud, rude, aggressive guitar player, only call me if you're fucking serious. My name is Big Fucking Mom. Fucking God, that our music is gonna haunt you till the fucking day you die. 